All right, welcome back. This is the Crit and Learn channel where we make magic with technology. My name is Ben Lipper, and today we are going to be doing Pac-Man Part 2. So in our last video, we basically made a simple Pac-Man game where we were able to draw, drive ourselves around, get eaten by ghosts, and hopefully get from the start of our maze all the way over to the finish. So I'm going to see if I can actually do it. it. Turns out sometimes you make a game that's so hard that even you can't do it, and then you die, and you're like, oh, that's sad. So I'm going to give that another try. Here we go. Oh, uh oh, the ghost is coming. So this ghost thing, the little, like, tombstone that's running around everywhere, that is the bad guy. And I am trying to avoid him at all costs. There we go. I got to the end. Woohoo! So how are we going to make it so that we actually get something when we win? And how are we going to make it look a little more realistic? Because if you look at this one, it looks awesome. And you look at the real pack and you're like, all right, some things are different. There's a few things you'll notice. So first, these ghosts have some kind of cool animations. And there's all kinds of animations we can put on them. These are actually not the original animations from Pac-Man. They've kind of changed over the years. Because if you look, this is actually a Google-themed one. If you look really carefully, it says G-O-O-G-L-E. Or G-O-O, and it's like this thing, L-E. So it's like Google. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make one, mine, though, a little bit different. I want to make my ghost be rainbow. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to click over to Ghost right here. And I am going to grab myself a, where is it? Change color effect by 25. There it is. And every time I click that, ooh, look, it's yellow. Now it's green. Ooh, interesting. So I can change my ghost color while he moves. I wonder what happens if I put that in forever block. Let's find out. Oh, whoa, that's really aggressive. He's moving, he's changing color too fast for me. I'm changing my 25. Let me try changing my 5. Now, you might like him flashing that aggressively. I didn't. I think even 5 is too much for me. I want like 2. There we go. I think that looks good. Now, when I, I'm going to go and give this a shot now. Oh, he's not changing color. Why not? I did not add myself a when started block or a when flag clicks. So there we go. Now I've got myself with a flag that, or with a ghost who changes colors. This is cool. I think I like this. Game over. I ran into him. Cool. So now I've got myself a game over. I've got a ghost who changes colors. That's super awesome. How do I make it so that I can actually win though? So the key to making yourself win is to have some kind of goal. Now, in the Pac-Man, the goal is these dots. There are a ton of dots, and they're unfortunately a little bit tricky to make in Scratch, so I'm going to see if I can show you what I think is actually a better way to do it. So instead of eating a whole bunch of dots, really all you need is the ability to eat a few dots, right? So, for example, say I make a little dot. I'm going to go ahead and hit hover over this and hit paint. And now I'm going to zoom in, actually. And what color should my dot be? I want my dot to be white. I like that color. And my dot will be a circle. So we've got ourselves a little white circular dot. And I'm going to make it so that this dot is going to basically be what you hit to win. So this is like kind of your target. So I've got it. He's sitting right here. And all I need to do is make sure that he lands in the finish zone. So this is my finish. I want it to be when you this like Pac-Man guy touches the dot, I want it to say you won. So all I need to do is when started, I want him to go there so that in case like somehow he gets dragged somewhere else, like maybe he's oh, over there. I hit when started and he's just going to start where he's supposed to. I don't have to worry about him being in the wrong spot. That's all the code that this guy needs. Now the Pac-Man though... He doesn't know when he wins, right? I could come over here and I'd be the best Pac-Man player in the world. And I won't be able to win because Mr. Pac-Man here doesn't know when I reach my prize. Oopsies. Uh-oh. Bother. Like, I got that dot, but he doesn't know it yet. So, how do I fix that? I'm going to go over to Pac-Man. And remember how I have this when touching ghost block? What if I also had one that said... When touching, ooh, it's called Sprite 2, isn't it? Let me rename it. So I'm going to click on this guy. Let's call this um, Win. There we go. When touching, Win. So 
when touching win, I don't want him to say game over. He's going to say, we won. But still, I want to stop everything, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try now. I'll hit play. And here we go. Uh-oh. Ghost. Here we go. Almost. We won! Woohoo! All right, and that stops. So that's great, but maybe this isn't challenging enough for you. What if you wanted more than one ghost? Let me show you the trick for that. So here's our ghost. Here's his code. What if I duplicate the ghost, though? Uh-oh, now I have two ghosts. So this ghost, this ghost I'm kind of going in the middle here. This second one, I want him... Where do I want him to go? I'm going to make this one a pretty easy one because this other ghost is so hard. This ghost is going to go up and down in here. He'll go up, down, up, down, up, down, just like that. So remember, this code was this code right here. All that does is that makes him go along the path that he's going along right now where the other ghost usually goes. So I'm going to throw that away. Goodbye. Now, I'll move him where I want him to start. And I'll grab this. Then I'll move him to the bottom. Then I'll grab that. And if I move him back up to, top, to the top, I notice, hey, this is 83 and 150, 86, 151. It's basically the same place, right? I've landed my ghost right back at the start. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to grab this one. If you wanted to, you absolutely can. I'm just not going to. And then I think that we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. I've got two rainbow ghosts now. That's exciting. Let's see if I can get through. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's coming. Phew. Oh, uh-oh, he's coming again. Ooh, uh-oh. Huh, that did not go so well for me. But did you see that? I touched the ghost, and I didn't die. Or at least I touched one of them, I didn't die. Oh. So this ghost who keeps coming down here, if I touch him, I die. I can tell that. But check out this ghost in here. I'm getting run over like crazy by this ghost, and I'm not dying at all. Why not? Let's go and check out my Pac-Man code. This one says, I have to be touching the ghost. But this ghost, that's not ghost, that's ghost 2 that I'm touching up here, right? See? I can click on it and it highlights it. So, how do I fix that? That's pretty easy to do. All I need is to say, you don't only have to be touching ghost, go ahead and head over to operators here. I can grab an OR. This says, alright, I can be touching ghost. Or I can be touching ghost 2. So it's going to say, all right, if you're touching one or the other, it doesn't matter which one. Either of them will make you lose. So here we go now. Let's see if I can get through. Actually, no, let's see if I can get killed by each ghost. So I got killed by the big ghost, the one who go makes the long rounds. Now let's go ahead and see if I can get killed by the other ghost. And you're like, why would you want to intentionally lose a video game? Usually I actually do this when I'm making a new game to make sure it works. Aha, look, he can kill me now too. So both ghosts can kill me. Now let's see if I can win. Now that I know that both ghosts can make me lose. Oh, I got caught. All right, we're gonna try that again. Do the cheater trick in here. Oh yeah, here we go. We won! All right, and that is it for your Pac-Man game. You now have a fully functional Pac-Man game. If this video was helpful for you or you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time.